I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of salt. All righty, good morning, everybody. The time is about 6.36. Uh, it's about 44 degrees, so the temperature uh, today's gonna be a long run day. Today is uh, the, the 20 miler. Um, temperature is about where it's supposedly supposed to be for, for CIM. Um, I think that historically the averages, like the lows have been in like the low 40s. So we're, we're kind of there. So we're, we're close to simulating the exact uh, conditions that we're gonna have for, for CIM. Um, but yesterday, I, I actually uh, didn't run yesterday. I went for a walk instead with, uh, with Jess and Nala. And um, I felt like that the, the same kind of like discomfort that I had when uh, I, I like slightly strained my hamstring after that mile. Um, so I didn't really do any running yesterday. I did some, some recovery stuff, did some rolling, um, was on the Theragun, tried to, did, tried to do some, some myofascial release in, in that hamstring. Um, today woke up feeling better, but it's still like, I don't know if you've ever had a strain, but it's like that discomfort where like you feel like there's something there, but it's not like hurting. So that's kind of about where I am. Um, but we're going to see how this goes. The, the goal today is to go out and back, out ba five miles, back five miles, and then I'm going to swap some gear a little bit. I, that's about where I wanted my uh, family to be uh, for CIM is at, at that 10 mile mark for the first 10 miles. Um, I was gonna refuel, um, replenish whatever I used and then go for the next 10 miles. Hopefully I can see him again at mile 20 um, and then you know try and grind out that last 10K. But uh, <clears throat> today I'm, I'm gonna try and do the same exact thing. When I come back for that first 10 mile, uh, I'm gonna keep the, the, my watch running because obviously you can't stop the time <laughs> uh, when you're when you're in an event. So we'll see how that goes. But now I'm actually a little bit nervous, but mainly for the hamstring more than anything. I just I hope it hope it doesn't give out on me. Um, I'd like to do the full 20, but I'm not going to try and be a hero either. So if it's if I'm feeling like it's it's not there, um, I'll go as as long as I can, and then and then just call it quits because. We're three weeks out from the marathon and I do not want to risk anything. Um, I'd much rather get to the line feeling healthy, 100% healthy than being 100% fit and not really that great. Like there's like some type of problem. So we'll see how that goes. We are going to do this run again at Griffith Park. Uh, I've, I've been using the, the bike trail for, for the most part for these long runs just because it's flat which is pretty similar to what CIM is going to be. There's, you know, some, from what I've heard, there's some rolling hills, but it's like nothing, nothing that I'm like Locker Center Hills, you know, like <laughs> it's, it's a lot more flat. So we'll, we'll stick with the flat as best we can and, and kind of just roll from there. I am pretty stoked though, that the, there's still some brightness in the morning. Um, because I I don't I wear shades and since I've got diplopia I see I have double vision the I've got prescription sunglasses so sometimes like I remember when I ran Yosemite the Yosemite half marathon and it was really dark uh, at that time because I think it was in October I think it was October when when that event was when I ran it um, I think they since changed it to May but anyways in October. Uh, it was really dark in the morning and I think the race started like at 7 or something like that and so uh, I had my, sh my shades on and it was dark. It was super dark like extra dark with the with the shades on But at least there's some some brightness out tonight or tonight <laughs> this morning So I can comfortably wear them and comfortably see and now the Sun is gone. So fantastic so another thing that I'm trying to practice right now um i'm gonna poss probably gonna be going to like a goodwill or something to get um some long sleeve i think i might have some old long sleeves and sweats um but there's no like bag check or anything at cim so whatever you put on you can 
either run with it the whole time or you can discard it at the they have like these little like areas apparently that you can just discard your clothes or anything that you don't intend to, to take with you to the finish and then they donate that so that's probably what I'm gonna do is get like old long sleeve and sweats just to keep myself warm um, I have my arm warmers on right now um, feels okay I mean I don't do too too bad in the cold I mean 40 degrees that's not too that's not too bad um, now it's 46 um, that's manageable for me. I mean, I, I think the coldest race that I've ever done was um, was in Spokane, Spokane or Spokane. I forget how to pronounce it. They corrected me on how to pronounce it when I was up there um, in Washington. It was for the USATF, was it Club Nationals for cross country. Uh, we did a 10K out there and I think it was like 20 something degrees. That was cold. I think that was the one race like you know, the, the singlet and arm warmers was just not cutting it. And my, my chest was burning, but, uh, you know, I took my inhaler, uh, already. And so it should be okay. It's not too bad. I've, I've run in this cold conditions, usually like for the warm up. like if I do a workout and it's this cold in the morning, um, I keep some layers on and then once I'm ready to go, I take it all off. But by then I'm pretty warm. So I might just hold on to something. Uh, I might hold on to like a long sleeve for like the first mile or two and then chuck it thereafter. But I got I got to check. I can't remember if there was a um, a time limit or like a cutoff where they don't want you to discard clothes. I think I read that somewhere, but I could be entirely wrong. I don't know. Um, we'll work out all these kinks as as we get closer to uh, to the actual event. So time wise, I'm a little behind schedule in the sense that the event is supposed to start at seven. Um, I'm having Jess drop me off at one of the, one of the shuttles, like around 5.30, 5.45 ish. And so, I mean, it's six, it's almost 6.45 now. So we're a little bit off of the schedule of what I would like to be when, for the actual day of the event. But my goal today was just to start, start running by seven. Uh, one, again to try to simulate as best i can race day what that's going to feel like uh but then the other thing is i have to i have to be somewhere by 11 uh in malibu so i just got to make sure that I, I get get my stuff done um i anticipate being out here for about two and a half hours so we'll probably wrap up like around 9 30 9 45 do some stretching and whatnot get home shower and then go about the rest of my day um We'll see how I feel after the run, though. I am fueling this time, though. Last time, I, um, if, if you weren't following on Instagram, uh, for my 19-miler, uh, that week, I had a little bit of GI distress, and so uh, I made the stupid mistake of eating leftover Panda Express before one of my progression runs, and it, would, it just completely tore me up. Like, I finished the run and everything, but it was, like, right after the run. That's when I... Or, like, the last maybe 10 minutes or so of the run, I really started to feel it. And it was just super uncomfortable. And like that whole week, I just, everything, nothing was settling right. And um, by the time Sunday came around for the long run, I felt pretty good. My stomach felt pretty good, but it was still like a little uneasy. So I was afraid to, to fuel up with anything um, except for water because I just didn't, I didn't want to have any issues on, on the run because I was doing a straight out and back. So I didn't want to be out, you know, nine and nine miles or nine and a half miles out somewhere and then, you know, be in trouble. So um, we finished up that run without any fuel and it was, it was rough because I, I tried dropping the pace like the last four or five miles and yeah, that was a mistake. So this time we're going to be fueling uh, unfortunately, the waistband that I do have um, doesn't have any like water holder. So we're going to go handheld again, but we're going to use a different handheld. Um, last time that that last run that I did, I used a uh, one of like those soft bottles and I really did not like it. So um, I've had a, uh, a Nathan water bottle uh, hand holder that I I've used in the past and Again, I, I don't like holding anything in my hand, but I, if, I, if I do, I prefer it to be a little bit more um, secure. I'm very picky. I don't like 
Uh, and this is the one thing that I don't like about, you know, like these longer events, longer races. It's the, um, it's the refueling because, you know, I, I don't mind stopping at a station somewhere, but for a race, you know, like you don't want to be doing that frequently because that does cut into your time. So the least amount of time that you can spend at a station, the better if you have fuel with you on the go, then, you know, you just, you don't, you don't stop. But, um, I'm also not a professional runner, so I don't have the luxury of having like my own stuff or whatever at every single station, every five, six, seven miles, whatever the case may be. Um, so got to hold on to it. All right. We are here at our destination, Griffith Park. Um, time's about 6.48. We got 12 minutes to do a little bit of a warm up. All right. It's not too, too chilly right now. Like it's, you, you could feel the cold. I think my hands are feeling it more than anything. Um, like I said, I do pretty well in the cold. Um, it's always my hands and feet that get super cold. Everything else for the most part is good. Um, so I'll probably wear some gloves, on at least the first part of this. Uh, just trying to make those decisions, you know, like what do I want to carry in case I, I don't want it anymore? What am I willing to carry? Um, I take that back, actually, no, it's, it's starting to get a little cold. <laughs> All right, it is 6.52, we got eight minutes. We're making some good time right now. Probably be on this for another three or four, and then showtime. All right, so we're gonna set up, because I'm gonna be pulling things out from the car. Um, so I'm gonna try and set this up that it, so that it's quick. When I do get here at the 10 miles, it'll be a quick and go. So. This is gonna be my refuel. This is what I'm gonna be holding. So when I do get here, I'm just gonna squirt all of this into here and then go again for the next 10 miles. But we'll see, we'll see how, how smooth of a transition I can make this. Um, otherwise, got my inhaler, got that, got that. All right, it's about five minutes out. Uh, might do, I'm gonna do a couple of drill, or excuse me, a couple of dynamics just to kind of get some little bit more blood circulating. And then we're gonna hit this, this 20 miler. All right, we will, I will see if I can hit record quickly when I get back for, for 10 miles, but uh, if not, I'll see you in 20, <laughs> 20 miles, not minutes. All right, bye. All right, we made it back. Uh, it was pretty solid. I, uh, I came around the, the first 10 miles and I um, just dropped off my stuff I only drank about half of, or a little less than half of this bottle. And so then I, I filled up the rest of it and then headed out and I actually finished it on the way back. Uh, everything was good, but I don't know if you can hear that, it's, it got really windy. And on the way out, it was a tailwind, so I didn't really feel it. And then on the way back, I mean that, the, uh, the last like six or seven miles, it, it was, it was a struggle because I was like, just fighting against the wind and I, I was getting a little frustrated too because I hate running in the wind. And, uh, <clears throat> but thankfully, um, asthma didn't flare up, so I was fine. Um, I just try to keep it as relaxed as possible. But overall time, uh, let's see what we got here. Come on, loading. So we went 20 miles, two hours, 16 minutes and 38 seconds. Uh, about 650 per mile pace. So I'm actually right about where I wanted to be. My goal was to go about seven, seven minutes to 655 the first 10 miles, drop it down to about 650, sub 650 uh, for the next 10 miles. And so I was actually a little bit faster um, all the way through. My goal today was not to really push the, the, the tempo at all. I really wanted to try and stick with the with the plan for those first 20 miles, um, and I wanted to come out of those 20 miles feeling like I, I could give my I could give another 10k. Um, I don't know if I would be able to drop the pace again for the next six miles after my legs were, were pretty tired today. Um, the hamstring held up pretty well. Um, it, I did feel it tug every so often, so that was a bit of a struggle. But otherwise, I mean, I'm pretty happy with with what we were able to do today. Um, let's see if I can go through um, each of the, the laps real quickly. First mile was about 714, which is about what I thought I would be. I, I figured I'd run at um, hopefully no slower than 730 the first mile. Um, and then I, I, I kind of got settled in from there. I went 653, 
650, 654, 650, 652, 650, 51, 49, 46. And then the 11th mile was seven minutes, but that's because I, I, again, I didn't want to stop the time. I wanted to get, drop off my stuff, refuel and everything, just kind of see how it would be. Um, and I'm hoping the turnaround will be a little bit quicker the day of the marathon with, you know, hopefully my, my um, parents and my fiance can kind of help with replenishing it a little bit faster. Um, however, I did screw up a little bit. I dropped off my vest, I closed the door, locked the car, was about to head out and I was like, I need to come back and fuel. So I came back, opened the door, filled up my bottle, closed it, then headed out. So there was a little bit of an extra time there. So I'm, I'm not too mad that that 11th mile was seven minutes. Um, but then it went, we went 646, 643, 43, 42, 47, 49. Uh, that was, the, the wind was really picking up in, in mile 17. Uh, 644, 640, and then 642 for that, that final mile. So overall, we did, um, we did what we needed to do. I'm feeling pretty strong. Um, just got to recover the rest of the day and, and get some good fuel in me. Um, I'm going to do a, a lot of st static stretching right now mainly for that that hamstring want to kind of get it a loose as loosened up as possible but um it was a good run i mean I'm, I'm pretty happy i've got a little bit more confidence going into into this uh marathon and i think you know three minutes three hours yeah, i keep saying three minutes i'm in i'm still like in mild mindset but i i still i think that a three hour marathon is within reach i think that's a a feasible goal to have um, and it's just about being patient and, and, you know, sticking to, to the plan and, and not try and go guns blazing, which, you know, like I said, in uh, previously, that's just been the biggest struggle with me is changing the mindset from running a fast mile to running a, you know, a slower tempo, but it's still overall a fast pace. Cause you know, you're going for 26.2 miles and, um, you know, it's 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 new territory for me, but I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I, speaking of which, the uh, the last video I said that I was running in my Torrent fives, um, and then I got a notification from Strava that I needed to get new shoes because I was over the uh, the mileage. I usually swap shoes around 350, 400 miles. Um, sometimes a little bit less depending on on how fast I've been running. Uh, I spent a lot of time in those shoes running faster when I was training for the mile. Um, so it's lasted a little bit longer. It's like around 360 right now, but I started feeling uh, my feet ache a little bit more with those shoes. And so I, I know it's time for me to kind of call those quits. So, whoa, Jesus. Somebody just ran over a beer bottle and it just exploded and it hit my foot. Interesting. Anyways, um, so today I ran in the Ultra Paradigm. Uh, I do really like these shoes. I mean, they give a quite a good amount of support, so they're nice to to wear. You know, especially if I'm, you know, I'm not trying to run too fast, or if you know, coming out of a a hard day, I need a little bit extra support. Um, I chose to run with them today, uh, mainly because you know, with the hamstring, I wanted to give myself as much support as I could, and um, they held up pretty well. They're definitely a lot heavier than I would like my shoes to be, especially for for a race, um, and so. I definitely won't be running with those for the marathon. I'm, I'm still waiting for the the uh, Vanish Tempos to come in. So I'll probably be putting in a, a good amount of runs in those. I still got two weeks um, to break those shoes in, though uh, a lot of people from the uh, Ultra group, um, so we're part of like this Facebook group and um, I had asked them what they felt, how they felt about the Vanish uh, Tempos and uh, a few of them said that right out, right out the box, they, uh, they ran uh, their races. Um, I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I want to risk doing that. You know, golden rules, never try anything new um, on race day. And since it's a new shoe for me, I mean, if I've run in them before, then sure, why not? Um, but I've never run in them. So I don't know if I want to uh, go right out the box and, and slip them on and, and head out there for the, um, the marathon. But um, I'm, I'm excited to see uh, how those shoes will, will fare out during my, my next few runs. Um, but for sure the next two weeks, or. Uh, the next three weeks um, or it's going to be a, a pretty slow taper at the start and then um, a heavy taper that lasts like 10, 12 days or so. Um, I'll see what what my uh, coach kind of creates for me. Um, I've not if you I don't know if you all remember, but I'm not self coached anymore. Uh, it takes 
a lot out of me just mentally and and physically trying to program for myself and then get the workouts done. So um, I, I've, I've had such a stellar coach, um, Coach Johnny Wilson. I mean, he's from uh, McMillan Running. So if any of you are familiar with that, um, great, great programming. Um, Greg McMillan, I mean, I, I've been following him since, since high school. Uh, I just, I love his, his philosophy and training and everything. And I, it, it really does coincide with my philosophy and how I train. Uh, both myself and and for the athletes that I coach, but I'm gonna hit this this static stretching. Uh, I'm gonna bundle up a little bit. Um, excuse me. Um, it's really windy right now, so I'm just trying to unwind right now. Like Jesus Christ, I'm I'm spent. I'm I'm done. Like I think I could have probably gone like another three miles at like a 6:45-ish pace. I don't know about that that last 5k. It'll be it'll be interesting to see. And actually, I'm just gonna put this on now. I will say this uh, ultra singlet is gold. Um, they did a stupendous job with with making this this singlet. It's super lightweight. I don't really um, don't really feel the chafing or anything. Uh, I really like it. It's super comfortable. And I mean, I was sweating quite a bit at the start, but I mean, it dries up so quickly that it's like not even. It feels great, so nice start. Nice work, Ultra. All right, that feels a little bit better. All right, so I'm gonna start stretching. I'm gonna roll out, get myself all situated so I can, can head out and, and go about the rest of my day. Um, but I'm hoping hoping I recover pretty well. Um, after today, I'll probably hop on the, the Normatec a little bit later uh, and get some good compression and baby the crap out of my hamstring because um, I, I'm, I'm after today, I, I'm feeling pretty confident going into, into the marathon and uh, I'm hoping for, for a solid time. I mean, I, I really would love to, to break that, that three hours um, right out the gate of in my first marathon and um, who knows? Maybe maybe we uh, start adopting this uh, this distance as my my uh, my racing distance, but we'll see. Time will tell. Um, at any rate, we're still respecting the process. We're staying the course, and above all, always, always, always run happy. All right, everybody. We'll see ya.